Watch how I jerk. Hey, yeah. Watch how I jerk. Just watch how I hit. I came in this bitch with some cash in the steam. They sending shots, but they actually me. Running shit like it's football after the game. I could've took y'all. Broke really cook y'all. See them in public and they all gonna look off. But I'm in the stool cooking shit like a cook off. Bitch, let's go. Let's get it. Go take off. So typically Rob sits in the seat, but today we're here with Carmina. So there was a video that Noah and I and you appeared on. Mm -hmm. It was on David Alvarez's channel, Blind Dating Seven Girls based on their Halloween costumes. It's a little bit of a spoiler alert that you're like you're on the video, like you're yeah. one of the girls. So if you haven't seen it, whatever. A million people already saw it, so if yeah. you missed it. If y'all haven't seen it, you guys need to go watch it. Yeah, maybe go watch it right now and then come back to this. Mm -hmm. We'll link it at the first video, top of the description. You guys can watch David's video first and then you'll get to watch our commentary but we're just gonna get right into it contestant number six if you were candy what would you taste like and why if i was a candy i would taste like butterfinger because uh <clears throat> your butt is about to be very familiar with my finger <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it gets me every time i asked my friend ryan to speed seven girls he must pick one based on their halloween costume What's up guys, my name's Rhino, and if you guys are curious about my costume, I'm a dictator. I'm dry. You know, I just got oh, that. Just right now? No, 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 when oh. I was watching the video. What are you looking for today? Honestly, I'm not that picky. As long as they have XY chromosomes and they can breathe, I'm interested. So, so. alive. <laughs> uh, yeah. What makes you think that you're dateable? I think I'm dateable because I'm well spoken. I'm a good like bring home the mom type. College degree. Stay the career. Really? <laughs> I have to say this is as someone who's very I, I wouldn't say self absorbed, but like I love myself. Mm -hmm. This was just great for my ego. What do you mean by that? When I was younger, my parents would always watch like The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, mm -hmm. and I always thought, man, if only like I want to be in one of those. Or you could be that guy. If yeah. only I could be that. You're the guy. star of that episode or that show. So when David reached out to me and was like, hey, you want to pop on here and be the dude picking seven girls? I said. Hell yeah. I no said, questions asked. He said yes. Yes, before I even hung up the phone. Shout out to David for even giving me this opportunity. But the, the plot definitely thickens up as we watch the video. So Noah pops on as the wingman. Hey, I'm here to help Ryan find love. Here we go. Let's bring in the girls. Yeah, I couldn't tell shit by the <laughs> Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. That dirty ass tail. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that thing been sliding across this dusty ass floor all day. Hey, my floors are clean. She probably wore that last year or something, okay? <laughs> all right, David. David, David's buddy. He's quick. He's quick with his witty jokes. I know. I'm like, how do you come up with that so quick? Be honest, how many times did you guys watch this video? I watched it one time through all the way and then I, like I read the comments. Ryan's the type to like watch it 10 times before he goes so, to sleep. Ryan had to check each, each answer, like, wait, how do I come up with <laughs> There's a setting on your, I have YouTube Premium, so there's a setting where you can loop, actually, actually you can do it on any YouTube app. So I just had it on loop for a few days um, oh. on my TV. That's oh. why we're at one point mil. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> I'm, I'm half these views. Half these Ryan. Like, cause like, I caught some moments here where I was like, looking at myself and I was like, fuck. It's man. okay, I literally watched it like five to 10 times. Oh wow. Mm. <laughs> Did any of your friends send it to you? Or yeah, I actually know? got a text message today and they were like, oh, like, it was actually from a TikTok. Mm -hmm. You know how some people like repost like YouTube videos? Mm -hmm. And I guess like it went viral and then they were like, what the fuck is this you? And I was like. I was at the gym and some guy came up and he said, yo, I saw you in that video. And I thought he had watched our, my own, uh -huh. our own videos. He was like, no, you were in this like Halloween one. I was like, ah, that's cool. So yeah, uh -huh. uh, is David giving us clout. <laughs> Thanks for the clout tokens. Thank you. If you were a candy, what would you taste like and why? If I was a candy, I would taste like yeast because I have a condition. <laughs> but we will never run out of bread, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, okay, that... She's got bread, she's got money, but she's also sick. But okay. Sick, <laughs> I can appreciate the honesty. Yeah. Well, she said yeast and then condition. I'm thinking yeast infection. Well, you want to ask her. Let's, let's see if there's some honesty here. I mean, do you actively have a yeast infection right now? It's just like, it comes and goes. Yeah. What? <laughs> I've seen it one time. The scratch you seen it? in the wild, yeah. She like didn't say no. It comes and goes. Okay, but honestly though, you know, some girls can have that though. I know like, I mean, I've experienced it myself, like from the past too. Like, you could literally it also like stems from like wearing like really tight underwear. Mm. Oh wow. Or like also like using like scented body wash because that ruins your pH. I've heard, I'm, yeah, I'm, so that's why you have to use like unscented and that's like something that's some bad for you. Some girls might just be more sensitive than others. Yeah. But did she say she has a, like an, inf 
infection. Well, she said an actively like yeast infection maybe comes and goes. Fucking Christ. So she might, she might not. I just don't know why you would say that. If it was a dating thing, whatever. When we were behind the curtains, I was like, damn, this girl got balls. Like, I respect her for that. Yeah, like, to, to say that? Yeah, to like say that to like so many people, you know? This is getting published. Yeah, that's true. So, damn. I give her respect for that, though. Hey, we all have yeast infections. Hey! It's just that term, yeast. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? I mean, hey. <laughs> um, nah, I saw, yeah, you I, in some crazy streets, nah, bro. I, I saw from close up, but nah, that's cool. It's, she, she has no control it's over that. It's not what you're thinking, but it's like, I'll let the imagination run wild. See, I don't know what she meant by that. Moving on to step number two. I didn't get white that. boots. Can't really tell what's going on. It's but... not white, it's like cream. Okay. It can uh, pass as white. All right, roasting me. Make note of that. Contestant number two. If you were a candy, what would you taste like and why? If I was a candy, I would be fun dip because you'll have fun once you dip out here with me. Okay. Mm. She's oh. gonna do one of these. <laughs> That's stamping right there. You wanna do one more of those for the camera? I'll save it yeah. for later. Okay. We, don't, we can that cut that out, that right guys? Good. Do you like fun dip? I'm not so much worried about the answer to the question, just her delivery. No, you don't like the delivery either? What? It was cool. It was good? It was cool. Ryan's more of like a homebody, so I don't know if... Uh... See, I really thought that I was gonna get eliminated the first round. Really? Because he was like, oh, like his her delivery just was not it. And I was like behind the curtains on my phone. I was like, fuck, I feel like I should've thought of something else. <laughs> and I started overthinking like my delivery. I was like, damn, like I, I should not be in this video. So were you nervous behind the, the curtain? Oh, hell yeah. I was wow. really nervous. Cause it's like my first time like being mm. in front of like a lot of cameras, you know? Mm -hmm. And like knowing the fact that like this video is gonna be like seen by so mm. many people like scared me. Mm. So you're over there thinking about yeah. all that at once. Number three, we got some uh, neon Your wife. orange socks. <laughs> Again, no clue. I can see the nails painted under through the see-through orange, which I like. I'm not a toe guy personally, but it looks nice. You ever sucked a toe? I've never sucked a toe before. I have. And how was that for you? You like that? It was good. Linty. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Contestant number three, if you were a candy, what would you taste like and why? If I were a candy, I would taste like Skittles because you can taste the rainbow. Sweet and delicious. Uh, contestant number five, okay. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, man. She dropped the wild card. I actually fuck with the possum girl, though. Oh, my God. Maybe you can try to guess what she is. You can pet two things at oh. once. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. This yeah. is just now with the possum before. Um, when, we, like, for, when I first walked in, because I was kind of late, I walked into like, the back room, mm -hmm. and I just saw a possum on the floor. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Are we supposed to bring our pets? <laughs> and it was on a leash the whole time. Yeah. I definitely caught you up. I was just though. curious. like, How did she like make that as a pet? Like, Did you ask her? on the set like do you guys get to talk much before no not really no one said hey bitch what the fuck is what that what the fuck is that <laughs> no no Damn. wow okay she, she said the, she had she more than room. one too she said like three yeah Damn. it was like two or three i was looking for some answers that's why i wanted you on here i wanted some answers about the damn possum like, where do you find a possum and then do you have to take it to a vet to be like yo is this is this really good is this good because if it bites me or if i you know is it carrying i just didn't have that much like conversation with her mm. Mm. okay and this just took a sinister turn contestant uh, number five well, what's going on here who's this little guy oh that's my son She's got a son. So she's a mother. She's mother. That's I mean, awesome. clean. So you'll get that extra nurture. I mean, if she's already taking care of him, she'll take good care of you. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, like the dirty ass <laughs> tail that she has. Yeah. With the dirty ass tail. <laughs> You wanna go pet him? Um, for the video, for the views, you, you know? You should pet him. I, I will, I'll pet him. He's not gonna bite me. It might he? change your mind. I mean, I can't guarantee that. Did I ask? Are you serious? <laughs> she might like you. She might, okay. Okay, that's enough of that. Alrighty. <laughs> nice hand. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Got a little preview over there. People have possums as pets. Yeah, they're free from the outside. <laughs> there, she likes to save. So she's a saber. I gotta respect it. I'm impressed that she got it. I'm actually, I'm very scared of possums. Like, Me too. You don't see them frequently because they only mm -hmm. come out at night. Yeah. And when you do see them, they're, they, I mean, look at them. And they're, it's pretty big too. The one that she had is pretty fucking big. Like, so seeing that, I've never seen a possum up close in my entire life before. You know, so. you can domesticate those and cuddle with them or whatever. And when I was like, looking, that one looks comfortable with her, which was freaking me out. Mm -hmm. When I saw its eyes, I was like, oh, this is a little demon. Like, I, <laughs> it just was, had, you know, like bunnies or shit that have cute little mm -hmm. beady eyes. Possum eyes just look scary, but I just wanted to add that in there. Contestant number five, if you were a candy, what would you taste like and why? Fish. Yeah, she's got the dirty tail, the dirty possum. I don't know. 
yeah, fish I answer. I don't know. You like fish and sushi? Nah, because that's not even. I can't leave. It's not even. It, is fish a candy? Um, it could be. All right, moving on. Contestant number six. She could be a little got chick too. Yeah, a little boot action. Contestant number six. If you were a candy, what would you taste like and why? If I was a candy, I would taste like Butterfinger because uh, <clears throat> your butt is about to be very familiar with my finger. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, great. Yeah, <laughs> Lucky yeah, David. That was real funny. You ever done that? Have a finger in your butt? Again, it's gonna be a no for me on that one. I, I was hoping you would get some like freak in the sheets type girl. I just didn't know how freaky Ryan was willing to go. I'm getting possums watching me have sex and then fingers up my butt. Don't knock it till you try it. Or you just don't try or it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying we're here because you know you're trying to leave the streets. Yeah. Maybe that finger's gonna help you get there. Yeah. <laughs> It'll point you in the right direction. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, contestant number seven. Hi. If you were a candy, what would you taste like and why? If I were a candy, I would be a Sour Patch because I'm sweet and sour. Okay. Hey, what about you, Sour, though? Only Sour is the even looking different. Like, my thought process this whole time was, I, don't, I really don't give a fuck about the answers, really. I'm trying to find, like, the baddest girl. So it's difficult, because that's not till the very end. Yeah. Exactly, so it's difficult. So you, I kind of did have to go off of the answers. Yeah, I saw mm. some comments there, like, they took this too serious, but it was just like, well. What you want me to, like, I mean, I'm thinking, all right, who's the baddest? I'm like, all right, I'm definitely not gonna, I definitely don't think Possum Girl's gonna be the baddest. Yeah, that's gotta go right And there. then yeast infection, like, ah, oh, like. Yeah, it was Possum, yeast infection, and button, the, the butt. finger. The, 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 butter finger. the butter finger, yeah. whatever, and I said, ah. Cause even if you're the baddest girl saying that, it's like, don't say stuff yeah. like that. I'm trying to keep you around, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who did you least connect with? It's gotta be the Possum. No. Wait, that's in front of her daughter, dude. I know. No, it's my son. Not even the possum. I think it's just her tail of her costume. Wait, you did say you wanted a uh, clean Clean, room. yeah. Hey, I'm clean inside the costume. I, I, I don't know that. <laughs> Look at brother going up there. <laughs> He's ready to go back. Oh, <laughs> nah, that's good content. All right, you guys can turn around and discuss who you guys want out. Wait, why do you call it your son if she's, she's a, it's a her? All possible. What the fuck were we even saying? I don't even remember. Don't even did remember. you guys even actually like discuss? Like, we, we, we did, we did, we did, we did. I mean, I was just like, okay, some of them are weird. Some of this is okay. I don't know what we said though. It was just kind of like, I think we both that agreed on the possum. I know we agreed on the possum. <laughs> even when David would ask him like over the shoes, he kept trying to like poke. Like, what else do you have to say? And I was like, I don't have, I get the shoes. I'm not getting anything from the shoes right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm waiting for the fucking face. I'm gonna have to eliminate six. Because oh, we didn't pick possum first. Yeah, okay. So it was the, we talked about the finger in the butt. Crazy. You would think I would have jumped right on that. But yeah. Yeah. You I know, um, your prostate's in your ass, right? Like your G spot's in your ass. Possum girl spoke up. Uh, Five. Possum. I'm 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 gonna change it. I want the possum to go. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, I didn't say anything. No, 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 no. I didn't say Damn, anything. Damn, yeah, that's true. Oh, oh my God. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'll give you a sign. Say hi to the possum. Hello. Oh. I've Hello, never touched. Mrs. I've never touched. Can you me. hold it? Will he? Will he won't bite? Will oh. He? Oh. Look at him, love. Look at that little mouth. Oh my god. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> he looks scared holding it. You're like, yeah. Uh. How do you hold a possum now? Because <laughs> the funniest part was I watched that and I said I touched my face like the rest of the video. Oh. That dude. shit was on the ground. But then again, like whatever. Like, I mean, I'm vaccinated. Like whatever. I really did enjoy that. That was that made the video. Yeah, Lydia. And then you killed me first round. Uh huh. I have a lot of hard feelings. I feel like you're a very basic, not kinky guy. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> I think it was. She came for him. I said. Oh. She came for your neck. We all heard that. We're like, God damn. You're a little upset. It is different. It's funny in the video, I but the I, girls, I felt it there. I was like, she's not happening right now. I think all the girls in the back were kind of like wondering now at that point, like what you get, what you look like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. Oh, that's valid. Hearing that, we were kind of just like, huh? If she said that, what does he look like? Oh shit. And I know people don't like like when you say, well, if a guy said that, well, if a girl said that, mm -hmm. but imagine if. I was, if the roles were reversed and I got eliminated first on, because I said something sexual and I said, wow, you don't want to do fucking anal? You see, that's basic as fuck. It'd be like, whoa, creep. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. invasive and creepy. But it's like, if a girl says it, it's kind of like. If a girl demands that she stick her finger up my ass and I say no, it's like, you're fucking basic. Damn, I do like just <laughs> Just fired. Yeah, just a finger in the butt thing. I mean, but you were defending her, so you were kind of looking out for her in a way. But also I was looking out for your sex life. Mm, okay. You'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. You'll have sex in one. 
well, again. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'll inevitably have sex again, <laughs> yeah. and I'll see what they're talking about. Oh, yeah. Also, I have one more question. Do we win anything if we stayed all the way to the end? You win his heart. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm not missing out on much. Uh, <laughs> that was like unnecessary. Were you guys in the back end like, what is happening out there? We were just like all looking at each other like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Well, that was crazy. And no, I didn't take it personally, obviously, but one of those things where it's very distasteful. That's what it was. Like, ma'am, I'm going off of toes <laughs> and fucking you had a possum. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't win anything anyway. Okay. okay. Don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. Um, <laughs> and then she fucking left. And she left. That's it. All right, boys, we've raised the current. Now you're going to get a better idea of what they are. We're still going to guess, but all right, turn around. Wow. Alrighty. Okay, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> you excited? You like this one better? Oh, yeah. I'm digging this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, the costumes are saying a lot right now. Okay, we'll start with contestant number one. What are you, first off, better idea of what she is, right? Yeah, I'm still leaning towards the witch. Really? Oh, she said, okay. really? I mean, <laughs> contestant number one, what would be your best Halloween pickup line? Well, I have this staff, but maybe I can hold yours instead. Whoa. It's not as long. But definitely, I think That's thicker. Okay. You know that? Yours? Okay. Or yours? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I can tell. Okay. All right, yeah. where, where, where? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yay. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that Crystal. was. Crystal. I do. I do that for a profession. Do you have crystals next to your bed? I sleep with 30 under my pillow. 30? Isn't that like lumpy? Are you, are you being like legitimate? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. I do have crystals, but I don't sleep with 30 under my pillow. Mm. But you are a crystal... I am, Enthusiast. yes. Enthusiast, okay. Yeah. People who watch this channel, they know that I'm a big hater on crystals and astrology. And astrology? So like I was just gonna ask, like, how do you guys feel about crystals? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, cause I don't, I tried getting into it cause a lot of my friends like has bought like crystals and stuff. No, not to shame on my own friends, but like they're like, oh, like it's made like so many things different for me. And I'm just like, I mean, I don't wanna shit on it cause obviously I'm not educated enough about crystals. <laughs> Be educated on. It's just something I didn't really see myself getting into. And like hearing that people like spend loads of money on crystals is actually insane to me. I went to a crystal store for my birthday a couple years ago and it was like, well, how did you guys well even end up in there? It was for shits. So we saw the crystal. It said uh, the little tarot reading. You want to get it, your mm -hmm. get red. So we walked. Well, do you guys there. believe in tarot card reading? No. Yeah, no. Nah. The, the thing with crystals is you have to be extremely privileged to even be able to think that crystals work. So for example, if crystals genuinely worked and you could hold the green granite color rock and it gave you wealth or helped you, if that actually worked, then all the people who own these green rocks would be rich. Would be, either have more abundance than everyone else and then they'd be like, mm. yo, you're getting rich, what's the deal? It's this fucking green rock. And then they buy it. And then they'd buy it and then they, their life would be better, but there's no difference between people's lives who own crystals and those who don't. Mm -hmm. And if it also worked, why not go to every impoverished nation in the world and give them a bunch of the fucking green rock that gives them money? Why don't we do that? Oh yeah, because it's not a fucking real thing. I mm -hmm. mean, I used to believe in astrology like a lot. As I was like getting older, I was just kind of like, I feel like it's a new form of racism. Mm -hmm. Birthday space racism. Like, it's like saying like, oh, like I don't fuck with Libras, right? Or like, oh, like you initially meet someone and you're like, oh, you're a Pisces. Like, I don't fuck with you. That's like saying like, oh, you're black. Like, I don't mm -hmm. fuck with you. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, you're but. I did used to believe in that though. Like there's some times where I'm like, okay, like it's accurate, but again, it's like when people are like, oh, like like Virgos are like, oh, like they're bitches, but there's like so many different other people who are like and a bitch. Yes, or exactly. Just like clumsy or like always crying or emotional, but it's like- They have enough emotional. traits where like you can pick one and be like, no, it's true. Yeah. Um, and then you just get lost by mm -hmm. putting, putting one thing together. Okay, moving on, contestant number two. Okay, we see a, I, I'm kind of confused with what this is, but. <laughs> it's it's cool. cool. Yeah, I like it. A little space. That's what I thought I was space like. space chick. Some out of this world chick. I am. <laughs> <laughs> what is your best Halloween pickup line? I bet your costume looks complicated. Do you need help taking it off? Whoa. <laughs> It is actually kind of complicated. It is relative yeah. because there's zippers a couple, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Would take a second. I could do with some assistance. So. Yeah, me and Noah are like kind of slow <laughs> with it sometimes. Do you vape? Unfortunately, I do. Oh. I smoke like 10 packs of cigarettes every day. Oh. That was a joke. Oh. Like a decade to the whole thing? No, I'm just kidding, but I do smoke vape. If you met the man of your dreams, would you be willing to quit? The vape? Yes. I mean, honestly, I would quit either way. I'm planning to, so. How's that going for you? I still have one, but I don't hit it as often. What is like, often? 
Like what I mean by that is- Four out of the seven days. It's less than what I used <laughs> She only does 50 pops a day. She used to do 150. You're kind of onto something. I'm just kidding. No, I mean- Did you hit it today? Yeah. Oh, shit. You're still addicted. How long have you been addicted for? High school? Um, yeah. Dang. High school? I do plan on quitting. I do. All right. Um, I call cap. Bye. But next year, I really like want next to Next year. Yeah. Next year. Like, I'm gonna wow. start now, but like, by next wow. year, it's like completely cut off. Did you know nicotine is addictive? If, oh, yeah. If I do this, there's a chance I could be addicted. Oh, 100%. And you did it. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I feel like this argument can go on for hours, but I'm not gonna disagree. Like, it is very addictive. Yeah. I'll quit for you if you want me to quit. Do you want me to? I do, I want you to quit. For not, and not for me, but for you. Okay. Mm. okay. Just as long as you don't quit on her. Mm -hmm. I care yeah. about everybody here. Like, I want to see everyone win and be their I best. I like a thoughtful man. And their healthiest. Damn, yeah. I wish we had like an anti vape ad <laughs> for sponsorship. Real. Mm -hmm. Well, in the future, guys, moving on. I'm pretty sure I saw David vaping too. Oh, uh, David. This is real cool. Should everyone, can we see the back of everyone's costumes? Oh uh, Yeah, if they, if they want to, yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't know. If, okay. Okay. Wow, yeah. I just don't know what she is. Looks like a like some sort of superhero or something. Contestant number three. What is your best Halloween themed pickup line? I don't need to see your blood to know that you're my type. Okay. Oh, okay. The the delivery. Delivery. <laughs> yeah, that weak ass delivery. I don't need to see your blood. Wow, <laughs> is that true? No, that's just my voice. Oh, okay. Mm. She's deceiving. Okay. She's mysterious. Don't judge the voice by its yeah. <laughs> That's a voice, voice. voice. Okay. No, I was cooking there for a second. I was like, oh. <laughs> what kind of type? What, what is your type, by the way? Tall, dark, and handsome. Dude. That's all three of us. <laughs> <laughs> David's funny. Why are you guys not? That's impressive. Contestant number four. What is your best Halloween themed pickup line? Are you Sydney Prescott? Because my ghost wants to be all up in your face. Mm. I didn't get that. I'm guessing her. I didn't get that either. Yeah. Nani is the ghost. What did she say? <laughs> Contestant number five. What is your best Halloween pickup line? <laughs> okay, picture this. We're at a party. We're at the punch bowl. Non-alcoholic, because I'm sober. We both take a drink of the punch. You turn around, because I tap you on the shoulder. I say, hey, baby, I'm a bit of a necrophiliac, so how good are you at playing dead? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you good at playing dead, dude? I could do, I, I could do it for sure. Contestant number six, what is your best Halloween pickup line? My best pickup line would be, out of all the candies, I'm the sweetest one. Mmm. Mm. What's your take on love? I'm a hopeless romantic. It's my favorite. I think love consumes me. Do you fall in love quick? No, but hard. I could definitely work with that. Are you a lover? I am a, I'm a lover boy. I don't play games, you know? I don't want to mm. waste anyone's time or lead anyone on. I'm like... If I like you and you like me, then let's run it. I made my decision. Mm. Already? Yeah. You don't even need to console. Yeah, you don't even console him. Hey, no. He knows what he wants. I am reluctantly going to eliminate number one. Damn. But why? I think it's because She's got the her mad. personality. I think it's almost too similar to mine. When's your birthday? I'm just wondering. September 18th. Oh, it's a Virgo. Um. I did not say that. When David put that on me, I was mm -hmm. like, I did not say that. <laughs> Who said, was it the black girl? Who it said was, that? It was Lily, the last girl. Oh. She's really into like astrology. Oh, bad. See, the thing is, I don't know how people have that shit memorized. Don't get me started talking about it, because I'll You'll start. talk here for hours. Oh, uh, so. You're really against it, huh? Yeah, I'm really, like, how would you feel if everyone was like, the tooth fairy is real? Wouldn't you be like, mm. are y'all going crazy? That's mm. how I feel when okay. it's like someone saying the tooth fairy is real. <laughs> each other, or we, like, we'll either love each other or <laughs> Well, you seem like the per type of person I would really get along with, mm -hmm. just because you're so similar to me. I guess I'm looking for a yin and yang. Hey! Hello! Hello. Oh my god. I'm Gandalf. Mm. Nice to meet you. Right. She's so cute. Yeah, she, yeah. she was attractive. She was so nice, too. Awesome outfit, too. Thank you. Wow. Dude, the freckles, show the cam, dude. Yeah, the makeup. Yeah, we should have maybe consulted first. The makeup looks incredible, too. Piss for Ryan. Shall not pass. My pussy walls! <laughs> How do you feel about you? She was, uh, was she your type? I mean, be clearly beautiful. Alright boys, turn around. Wowzers. I lose no matter what. Contestant number one, what's the scariest thing about dating you? I would say the scariest thing about dating me is that I'm actually very territorial. <laughs> I like to have what's mine. I don't like sharing. 
And Starting I off. would probably force you to swallow an air tag. Well, Ryan can't swallow pills, so. You can't swallow pills? I can't swallow them either. Mm. Well, we'll figure something out. You can insert it rectally. Like, I gag when I try. Oh. So does that mean that you, never mind, you were saying? When I was watching this video, I was just kind of like looking at like, or like hearing what I was saying. Like, I would never riz a guy like this. I don't think you would riz a guy at all. I don't do that. That's what I'm saying, girls don't riz. Like, they just, they simply exist and stand I feel there. like for me, if I guess I can, like you can consider as rizzing someone up, like I'll just stare at you. That's no, there you and go. also, like, not only like regularly, like I wouldn't just like stare at you. I would like kind of like I fuck you. <laughs> like I don't approach women mm. at all. I think it's because I don't mm. rejection. I don't think I want to get rejected, but at the same time, maybe I'm not that enthusiastic to go. Oh, I need to go talk to this girl mm. right now. Like um, if it happens, it happens. Usually, I let the girl have the interest in me, and then it makes it a lot easier. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I know. To some girls, they'll look at me and be like, "Get the fuck away from me." Mm -hmm. But then other girls might like me, mm -hmm. and I guess I'm not willing to roll the dice. Yeah. So I'm just like, whatever, fuck it. And your move is just kind of like looking. Or like, I don't know. I walk past them. It depends where the oh. setting is, though. You know. You'll walk. <laughs> I'll make the first move. So wait, I, I need to demonstrate that now. Ready, you stay there. We'll stay there. So she makes a move. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, his loss. What is the scariest thing about dating you? Scariest thing about dating me is I sleep talk, so I'm on demon time. Oh my God. Now, I know Ryan's big on the voices, so. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so so you're, you guys are gonna sleep in together and you're just gonna be talking like that every now and then? Sometimes. I think that was the brown where I was like, I gotta get her the hell out of here. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? I don't know, I was just talking about some demon shit or something. Oh, like, I just didn't think voice. it was, I didn't think it was funny and I was like, yeah, just stop. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> you got sleep paralysis? Yes, actually. Is he, is he a guy? I don't know, it's usually like a dark figure. Damn, is he tall, dark, and handsome? I hope so. You dream about another guy, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Contestant number five, what is the scariest thing about dating you? I think the scariest thing about dating me is I'm an FBI agent and I'll find out everything. Ooh. Ooh. Do you like go through people's phones, DMs? Laptop. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> going into the laptop. She was specific. Have you done this before? <laughs> Have you done this before? Um, once. You gotta be careful. She might steal your iCloud password and then <laughs> you don't want that. And she can just clone you on any device. But again, I love. Which is that something you do as well? Where you are like looking at laptops and trying to find no. something? Like I went on someone's phone like maybe like twice, mm -hmm. but I had like a valid reason. <laughs> Okay. I think it was like, I was with my ex and we were in the same room with this one girl like he used to talk to. Mm -hmm. And I was just kind of like, like trying to understand like their body language with each other. Mm. And then when I like walked away, I saw them talking. Mm. If they were like comfortable enough to talk when I'm not around, what's in that phone? And then... You know? And honestly, I feel like, I don't know, my gut just tells me. I'm like, some shit's going on. And I'm always right, too. And then you and then you broke up with him? Mm-hmm. Wow. Did he get with that girl? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Are they still together? No clue, because I don't keep up with oh, them. Oh, valid. Okay. Their skin, their skin looks incredible. Like, Thank what, you. what the you heck? You moisturize? Um, I actually just came back from Guam. Yeah, I'm Guamanian, so that's cool. You're Guamanian? Yeah. I'm Chamorro. Yep, same. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Tell me day, day, half a day. Well, we could be family. So. Yeah, we could oh, be yeah. related. Yeah. It's the first thing I thought. I wasn't thinking anything. I was like, <laughs> she's probably my <laughs> relative. <laughs> Thursday's there's like 10% blood. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. So we've heard all the contestants. Now you're gonna eliminate one. This is really difficult. I could, I could consult with Noah real quick. Yeah. I think you should. Last time mm -hmm. you didn't, it didn't turn out well. So, sorry it took so long. I'm trying to go off of what I really think I could have longevity with. Oh, okay. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm taking this real serious. That being said, I am reluctantly gonna eliminate number four. Why? She's gonna kick your ass now, do the thing. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think it's just the vibe. I don't know. I feel that, I feel that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. I actually had no clue the what vibe. I was I had no clue what I was thinking. You had no reason. She and was really she came pretty. And I was like, those eyes. Look at her eyes. Beautiful eyes. I big. felt bad. I felt so, I was tight after that. I was no, like, yeah. fuck. But granted, I have to eliminate yeah, six somebody. of them. Yeah. Batman. I was yeah. Batman. Oh, you're Batman. Uh, yeah. You want to take off the mask so we see? Yeah, there might be an indention on my face. I knew I was going to lose with all my selections. But... Sorry, you don't like personality. Okay. I got to go fight crime. OK. So. Wait, wait, can you do your Batman voice? I'm Batman. How do you, how do you feel about that one? And I was pissed because she left the set. I was like, hey, mm -hmm. let's all not leave. 
Yeah, so all the girls left, all the girls left right after Ryan uh -huh. eliminated them. I was like, let's network. Move on to the next question. We got a good one. Contestant number one, describe your love life using a Halloween movie. The movie I would use would probably be the Halloween, Michael Mayers, because- Michael Mayers? <laughs> what? It's not a buyers, but it, was, Myers, it sounded sorry. good coming okay. out of her mouth regardless. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would prefer not to chase. We could just choose each other. You know? Mm. What about it, like, what kind of chasing do you like? Describe it. Well, if I'm first, like, getting to know you, I do want you to chase me so that I feel wanted. You want to be chased? Mm hmm But I also like chasing. I like both. Like, because yeah. girls will say, I want to be chased, mm. but women despise simps. Like, they despise the men that are... I like simps. But you won't date a simp. You like the validation they give you, but you're not going to date them, though. No. Not right away, probably. But I've been with a simp, though, and, like, it really turned me off. And I have to cut it off. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. You don't like being chased. Next. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant three, how would you describe your love life using a Halloween movie? Probably a nightmare on Elm Street because I'll be the only nightmare you want to dream about. Ooh. All right. Okay. She's scary. Mm. Psycho, but. She's wicked. I like that. Okay. And contestant three, you believe in crystals? <laughs> <laughs> Really? What's really crystals? I'm just curious. Do I believe in them? Yeah, like the crystals and what, big crystal their powers man. and stuff. Well, a little bit. Like I have four, and that's that's it. They're not on your pillow. No, they're on my mantle. Yeah, no, no problem with that. Yeah, decoration. All right, contestant number four. The Halloween movie I would choose to describe my love life would be Final Destination because after you finish, you're gonna want to die. Hey. She was pretty good. I did. Yes. I really like that one. Okay, so now you heard all the answers. Mm -hmm. You've heard all the voices. Heard all the voices. Favorites right now are definitely one for sure. So should the rest of us go home? No, <laughs> because it's it's been bouncing around this whole time. Contestant three, did you say? Are you the one who said like, oh, should y'all go home? I did. Okay. Does that mean I'm going home? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, contestant number three. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Jenna. By the way. Oh, perfect. No. I know what that is. Okay, fist bump. Oh, okay. Damn. Um, <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye, girls. She looked horny. I really like that. Outfit. Outfit. Incredible, incredible, incredible costume. I love that. All right, let's have you guys turn around. I'm still tired about the germs thing. Ma'am, be, be serious. Germs. Oh, with the fist bump? <laughs> Well, he did touch touch the possum, so. Maybe, maybe that's why. It's like, ma'am, have you ever- well, We all touch the possum. Oh. Like, ma'am, do you have an iPhone? Do you know how many, like, germs that you touch on a daily basis and then touch your phone and then your phone's a cesspool of germs, <laughs> but now you're, you don't do side hugs because of germs? What did you think I looked like? <laughs> He's like, unless before, you want to- I mean, if you want to have, but 30 minutes went by after hearing him talk. Before, like, we were like filming because I think Lily asked like who is like this big YouTuber because that's what David said. Uh -huh. He said Asian. So we were like, oh, okay, maybe we're trying to throw you all off. Mm. Yeah, that's that's smart on him. That's mm -hmm. smart. Yeah. And then I was like, no, I really, I, no. I, I had a feeling you were like a light skin. Okay. Okay. And also, I feel like you cheated. How'd I cheat? Because oh, we were like in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and when I saw you, when like when they revealed us or whatever, mm -hmm. like because I saw you sitting by like a stool. Yeah. And you were like this. Well, then he didn't look. But like, I know you, were, I saw you. I made eye contact with you. I did see you. Oh, okay. Maybe but you didn't know. think I was going to be in this video? I did, but I had no clue who you were until the thing went up. So I wasn't like a... Yeah, maybe oh, it was I like he looked, but then when you walked away, you probably left his mind. I don't know. Mm. So I saw, yeah, I saw you early on and then I was like, oh, lovely. And then... Mm. There was a lot of girls walking around in the back, so I also didn't mm -hmm. know. I didn't see you back there, though. Okay. I was back yeah. there. Wow. What do you think, dude? I think I made the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made the right choices. Okay. So, what would be our couple's costume on Halloween? And contestant number one, what's your name? Carmina. What's yours? My name is Ryan. Ryan, nice to meet you. And what was your name? I'm Noah. Noah, nice to, nice meet, to meet you. you. So, our couple's costume, what would it be? It would probably be Cinderella and the Prince because we're a perfect fit. Hmm. And you think you guys are a perfect fit? I don't know, we'll find out after this. All right, contestant number two. Contestant number two, what's your name? Mia. What would our couple's costume be? Chucky and Tiffany, because I want to be crazy with somebody. Ooh, okay. You said you, you said you need a little crazy. I need a little crazy. Yeah. Crazy is good. What's like your level of crazy you think, like honestly? Are you talking about the bedroom or? <laughs> That's where her mind went. I'm, maybe not, maybe not bedroom, but 
That's sort sorry. of toxic behavior that you do. Oh, I'm not toxic. Just crazy fun. Okay. Oh. <laughs> she looks like someone is adventurous. Mm -hmm. Now, you? Hello, we could be cousins. Right. <laughs> you, you Did are... he look Guamanian? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was you her couple white. costume. She was like, yeah, let's be cousins. <laughs> Like, oh. And your name was, by the way? Lily. Lily. So what would our couple's costume be? Our couple's costume would be Dora and Diego because you would stop exploring after me. Hold up. Aren't they cousins? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it all comes back full circle. It all full circle, okay. But maybe the third cousins, which we said earlier, not that bad. Why can David, man? Okay. Actually, I've made my decision. You have? Uh-huh. You don't want to discuss with Noah at all? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you were ready to go. Maybe we should have discussed. <laughs> so now, what did you, in this moment, before I had chosen, what were you thinking at this moment? Were you I thinking? actually thought you were gonna choose me only because you were like favoring me with my voice and mm -hmm. everything. Cause he cut that part out where you kept kind of like going. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that's all I was thinking. I was like, but then I was like, I didn't care. <laughs> you, you were, not, in that bad, not in a bad way. It's but fine, I'll go fuck myself. Um, <laughs> no, I just went I was her. still top three and that meant a lot. So, you know. And I'm choosing to win the thing. Your heart. My heart. Number two. <laughs> Let's go. Yay. Yeah. We got a perfect match. We got maybe, our winner. Maybe, maybe we should go. Yeah, we'll go. We should probably yeah. head up. Why don't you go yeah. meet up there? Let me give you a hug. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, Ron She like blatant. He sounded like that guy, where's my hug at? Where's my hug at? <laughs> I can tell she doesn't fuck with me. Look how far away she's standing from me. Mm -hmm. Hand behind her back too. Hand behind her back. She, was, she didn't want to go like. She does not fuck with me at all. Could have picked Carmina. Nah. She thought you were What do you guys her. think? Do you guys think he should have chose me? Damn, El Rhino. El They're Rhino. like, no. El Rhino in the chat. I'll say this. I should have chose you. I, I almost immediately wanted to choose you. Mm -hmm. Why? Once I saw, I saw, obviously saw everyone, but then it's bright lights, and then I'm kind of like, well, shit, and I liked your voice. But then I'm looking at her, and she's wearing a wig and glasses, and I'm thinking, well, she's still, she's cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was. I was just like, all right, whatever. I'll just go with her. What they cut out was, this girl, Velma, said she likes mini golf and she would- Yeah, they cut that out. We yeah, I was golfing. like looking forward to like that the was last like the, I think that was like the big cherry on top when she was like, where would you go on a first yeah. date? And she said, let's go mini My golf. My answer was like, I just couldn't think of anything. That's mm -hmm. why we had to like start with the other you know, girl. Lily girl say like, take a fucking trip or something? No, 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 that was me. Oh, that was you. I was like, I was like, oh. you wanted to go on a trip or something? I was like, let's go, like, I want to go fly. Like, to, oh, I don't was, know, like, like travel. Date. Damn. And then I thought about it. I was like, damn, what if the fucking date is so bad? Bad. Like I'm stuck with you in a fucking airplane no, I, for however long, you're, and you're I just crazy don't fuck with you. To take a trip with us yeah, <laughs> exactly. So guys, yeah, no, I would not do that for so a first day. She said mini golf, and then you said plane, and I was like, oh fuck, it's close. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't like planes, and I do like mini golf. Uh, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. But then, yeah, then just some time simmered, and I was like, oh, this girl doesn't fuck with me. Oh, okay, so that's great. It's just one of those things where... It's okay. You well, well, you're here well. You said it this video, you would've picked her, and at least exactly. there's another video out there that'll say that. Yeah. So, so you win. Technically, guys, I win. Yeah. I won, so. And I don't have to say corny shit anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, look, I'm gonna play this. Hear how fucking fake this, what she says at the end here. And again, no shade to her. She is a very sweet girl. She just doesn't like me, and that's perfectly mm -hmm. fine. Uh, and Mia, what do you think, dude? Tall, dark, and handsome. That lying at her fucking ass. I mean, yeah, do we? He's, yeah, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. Can we go? Are we fucking done? No, someone was actually sure, like saying something about that in the comments. They're like, "Fuck, is she talking about dark?" And then, <laughs> and then as soon as she said that, she already leaned away. And then so. they were like, "Look at his face." But after, like, did you think about like what she said? When she said that, I was like cringed. But but it was more cringe for me because I was like, she doesn't like me. So it just mm. not to say it hurt, but it was just like. Well, there goes my yeah. There goes my yeah, like, oh, date girlfriend. <laughs> we were there for like an hour just for it. Damn. I didn't want to be like a horny ass motherfucker on there mm -hmm. actually trying to go on a date with anyone. Yeah. I was just trying to be professional. I didn't even want to say anything horny, but like I just feel like because like we did kind of go over our answers with everybody else just to make sure that we didn't have the same ones mm. and everyone's answer was just so like sexual and mm. horny but it's like that's not me but mm. i mean i just did it for the content so mm. makes sense 
but I wouldn't say that at all. Eliminating four when she had the best personality was sober and clearly compatible with him was the biggest mistake. Y'all are just Monday morning quarterbacking because she, you saw that she looked fucking good at when she walked around. I do agree that was out. And I don't even know why I eliminated her, but whatever, fuck me. Rhino is a catch. It's crazy hard to find a dude who is sober, doesn't smoke, doesn't cheat, and doesn't play games and hates the astrology shit. Can we prove the cheating part though? Next comment. Um, <laughs> I think the real reason he thought Mia was shy was because she was the only one who didn't have any vulgar responses. LOL, but she ended up getting chosen in the end. She was my fave from the beginning. Go Mia. This is one of the best wingmen that's ever been on the show. Okay. Equally, equally respectful of the contestants and watching out for their friend. Amazing. Would you guys do this again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to see you be the main Next person year. to choose. Mm -hmm. David, hit me up. Yeah, David. Needs yeah, David, to... get no. We'll swap it. We'll just swip it. We'll just mm -hmm. swap it. Swip I feel like you'd be a funny wingman. We'll do a little swap out. Or like I've been here before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or they can do a Christmas. Oh yeah, wait, we can Come do one day. Get us back, man. Would you guys do like the ranking ones? I feel like that's like I can't do that. I'll do any of them. I would love to be savage on some of them because this one I felt like okay, you don't have to be mean mm -hmm. to people. Well, and I ended up with no one. Should have chose me in the beginning, you know. I'm the one that got away, but I'm still here. We're reacting to this video. Damn, I didn't do a good job. Oh, damn. What it's okay. Like, it's okay. To the strip club. To the strip club. <laughs> Actually, I never knew strip club. All right. Love y'all. Bye, guys. Bye.